Hi everyone, welcome to Sawyer's Eve. What I ate Wednesday. Today we're gonna take you guys along. We're gonna show you everything Sawyer ate today. A little bit of background. Sawyer is a year and a half old. He is a Kavapoo. Yes, he really is a Kavapoo. I know he looks more like a Cavalier. We get that a lot, but yes, he is a Kavapoo. And he weighs about 18 pounds. He has no, you know, issues or sensitivities. So I'm not an early riser and therefore my dogs aren't either because they're on my schedule. It's about 9.30 right now. I'm going to first, of course, take all the dogs outside. They've already been outside once to do their business, but then, I, <laughs> then I'm then i gonna take them out again and I'm gonna play a little bit of fetch with him and then he's gonna eat. Where's your ball? Go find your ball. Where's your ball? Waiting, waiting. Sawyer, come on, you got this. Buddy. Yes, okay. Come on, yeah. Good boy, good boy. Now it's 11 o'clock and everybody is more than ready to eat, especially Jake, because Jake could just eat all day. <laughs> Okay, so I've got all three of their bowls lined up here and we're going to start for Sawyer with his dry food. So here's his dry food and I always just pour it into his bowl. I just eyeball it. I never ever measure any of my dog's food. I just see how their body is looking and just take it from there. But since you guys might wanna know, I am going to measure it out today. So this is a one third of a cup measuring cup and we'll see, because I would say it's probably about a third of a cup that I give him, so we'll see. That's okay. Um, a little bit more than that. Yep, that looks about right. Now, personally, I never ever just give my dogs dry food. I feel like it's so bland for them. And I couldn't imagine feeding them dry food day after day, twice a day, just that. It's like, I don't want my dog to question if life is worth living with just dry kibble. I mean, I don't know. So we're gonna add some stuff to this. First thing I'll add is some of the wet food. This is the Whole Earth Farms chicken and turkey recipe. There's two varieties of this that we buy and it's chicken and turkey. Oh. Chicken and turkey and the red meat <laughs> and the red meat recipe. So today we're doing the chicken and turkey recipe. I've been feeding this for a while and I'm very happy with the ingredients, but I have to say this used to be much more either volume in it or much more of a pate, which it still is pate consistency, but they're just adding a ton more of this like gel stuff, which I drain off. So that I'm not too happy about, but I am happy at, at the ingredients because first one is chicken, chicken broth, turkey, chicken liver, sweet potatoes, apples, carrots, natural flavors, blah, blah, blah. So in my opinion, it is one of the best ones if you're gonna do canned food. And I know canned food is not the pinnacle of what you can feed a dog. So I'm just gonna take a scoop about that big. I would call that maybe two tablespoons, tablespoon and a half, yeah. The reason why I buy canned food mostly is because of Shiloh. Hi Shiloh. Because Shiloh's 14 and she is missing some teeth now. So she is gonna, oh, she got the pink bowl. She's gonna get about that much. And Shiloh is, Shiloh maintains her body weight very well. And the funny thing is she eats twice as much, if not more than my other chihuahua that weighs about a pound more than her. This is Quincy at five pounds. However, the reason I think that Shiloh really has such a fast metabolism and never ever puts on weight is because she was not fixed. When you have your dog spayed or neutered, you definitely will have to cut down on the portions. They definitely can put on weight more easily and it makes complete sense. You have really disrupted the hormones of their body. So I know that it's something that we really have to do if you are going to be living with dogs that are not fixed. If you don't intend to breed your animals, which Shiloh was never bred, it just was something that, I don't know, she never went through a bad heat. She never really um, bled a lot because she's so tiny. And so time just went by. And then when she got a little bit older, 
you know, like around five. I just didn't want to put her through that surgery. I felt it should have been done earlier. And it's honestly never been a problem. So you have to watch for that. So you don't want them to become overweight, which is so unhealthy for them. This is also what I give them. This is primarily what I give Quincy. This is the Stella and Chewy's. These are the lamb patties. I usually get the duck, duck, goose. I'm sorry, but I started getting the lamb as well because they're just easier to crumble, a nice consistency, and also just to change it up with the nutrition. So these have amazing ingredients. They are a raw food. They're not a messy raw food. If you do like to feed raw and you don't want to put things in the freezer and you know, these are shelf stable. So let's see, the ingredients are lamb, lamb liver, lamb spleen, lamb heart, lamb kidney, lamb bone, a lot of lamb. And then we go on to pumpkin seed, organic cranberries, organic spinach, organic broccoli, organic beets, carrots, da 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 da, and on and on. And some vitamins and minerals at the end. Of course, as you can see, it's quite pricey. This is $26.99 for a 14 ounce bag. I'm not sure how many patties that relates to but you could look that up online certainly if you had a big dog and you were just feeding this mm, it's gonna be really really expensive because Sawyer would be about here and he would need to eat six and a half of these a day which is probably like this would be three days supply so so these just crumble really easily but they are super dry so you will need to add some water so you don't choke your dog out warm water so I'm just gonna put a little of the boiling water in the coffee normally I would crumble some of this onto Sawyer's and onto Shiloh's as well but since I hardly have any left and I have to go to the store I'm going to save the last one that I have for Quincy's dinner since I feel bad about that I'm going to add something nice and tasty on top of theirs too which is these are organic turkey breast slices. I get these at Costco. They're also great to break up to use as training treats. We don't want anybody feeling left out, so of course we're gonna give them some too. And now next up on top, I'm going to add these wild Pacific sardines. I generally always add some kind of meat. And yes, I know I already added the turkey, but I'll usually put some leftover steak or ground beef or chicken. But today I'm going to add these wild Pacific sardines. So these are in olive oil and I'm going to drain that off because that's something they don't really need. Oh, wow, these are really big. I've bought sardines before. These are from Costco, and I've bought them from Costco before, but a different brand. These are huge. Okay, they're all nice and drained, so we'll just chop these up, and I'll probably do just a third of this can. But my dogs go crazy for fish. They love, a lot of times I get salmon. They really love salmon. Sometimes I'll give them a little bit of tuna, but you know, you always gotta worry a little bit about everything. So I don't like to give them too much big fish a lot, which is the tuna and not really the salmon cause that's wild caught, but the tuna cause mercury, you know, so we'll go lower on the food chain and we're doing sardines, which don't really have a risk of that. So again, I'm just eyeballing this, but it's a couple of, couple of tablespoons full, I'd say. And everybody's gonna, ooh. Everybody's gonna get some of that. Okay, and that's it. There you have Sawyer's breakfast. About a third of a cup of dry food, about two tablespoons of the canned food, some organic turkey slices, and some sardines. Woohoo! Woohoo! So of course, everybody has to be calm around food. This is something that I've taught him from the get-go. When he was a puppy, he was kind of crazy and looking to eat everybody's food, but now he's learned that he has to sit down and there's no fighting in the kitchen. Sit. Good boy. And I always feed him first. Shiloh gets fed next. Quincy, our little patient Quincy, gets fed last. Sawyer takes his time when he eats. Oh, that's what he had in his mouth. It's the inside squeaker of a squeaky toy. He's done it before. But yeah, Sawyer takes his time eating his food. 
He doesn't wolf it down or anything like that. Okay, so guys, that was breakfast. Hi everyone, today we're gonna show you and Welcome to Sawyer's What I Ate Wednesday. Welcome to Sawyer's What I Ate Wednesday. Today we're gonna take you along and we're gonna show you, can you? <laughs> Just drop some on the floor.